everyone. A huge welcome to all of you to the kitchens at IIHM Pune. Today we're gonna be making some exciting and interesting Japanese dish for you. We will be making Japanese sushi rice. We'll be seeing the techniques of how to make an amazing, very nice and tender Japanese sushi rice. Today we have three budding chefs from the IIHM Pune's final year. We have Chef Anish, we have Chef Anishka, and we have the budding chef Omkar Tatsay. All the three students are the part of IHM Pune final year and they chose a specialization in food production. Wishing them all luck. So uh, today we're gonna be making Japanese. You guys know anything about Japanese? Have you made anything? Have you eaten before? Yes. No, but the, for the first time we will be doing this right now, so okay. I'm really excited for this. Okay, great. So the concept of the Japanese food is not very old to India. It was introduced back in 90s. The first Japanese restaurant was Tokyo that opened at Ashoka Hotel, New Delhi. Post that, Shakura at Metropolitan Nikko opened up their doors for the Japanese cuisine. And for the people, especially for the Japanese expats who used to stay in India, they were looking for something more specific and something more regional or original to their country so taking along that after that lot of japanese restaurants started popping up around the country and the new techniques the new evolution that came and the new revolution that came and the people started enjoying a lot of japanese food all around us so, so today, uh, today we are as i said all of you that we are going to make something exciting we are making sushi and we also will be making sushi rice about it chef i have a question uh, when and how did uh, japanese sushi come into place okay and, what, okay. and where did the rice come from okay Origin. great okay great great so uh, the japanese uh, origin the sushi origin dates back to china okay the sushi uh, is ideally a process fresh. When fresh so what they used to do they used to take the fish and pack it down with the rice and they used to keep it that's how they used to keep their rice fish fresh usually uh, the concept of japanese sushi and the food that we get here Always there will be sushi will accompany with some sort of a seafood. If it has fish or if it has some sort of a seafood like a prawn, uh, maybe uh, some salmon on the top. So that how it goes. So traditionally Japanese they eat sushi in form of nigris or rolls like maki rolls. So uh, that's how the origin goes back. Okay. And also I had a question chef. So what kind of rice do we use and can we use rice like basmati or, or, or an arborio? Okay, very nice. Uh, we use usually in Japanese they use short grain rice. Okay, uh, they are highly gelatinous in nature. Though uh, they stick to each other, that's the reason the roll doesn't fall apart. The texture of basmati is different. The texture when we cook basmati, there are individual strands. After we cook it, when you see each of the strands of basmati are separate to each other. Yes. But when we see a sushi rice that we're going to be cooking today and I will be showing it to you, have a gelatinous nature. Okay. That doesn't mean basmati, uh, that doesn't mean the sushi rice is very similar to the jasmine rice of Thai. Gelatinous in the, nature the, and they stick to it. That's the reason we use short grain rice for sushi preparation. Okay, so, chef. I also had a question. Yes, please. Yeah. So, what is meant by Japanese fine dine? Okay. Uh, Japanese fine dine uh, originated during the time of the kings. Okay. Uh, ideally, when we speak about the fine dine in Japanese, it's a multi-course meal. Like French, they have a multi-course fine dine concept. Japanese also have a multi-course fine dine concept. They call it kaiziki. Okay. They call it kaiziki, in which they give you small portions of each of beautifully elaborately decorated plates it might be having some soups some beautiful salads some uh, nigris some sashimis some makis some uramakis so those are different roles that come along with it so uh, kaiziki is a format in which or the japanese fine dining is also called as kaiziki okay so uh, that's all any other questions no, sir. Okay, fine. So we're going to be taking much more questions, 
by the students and let's head back and start cooking the sushi rice so uh, as i said earlier we're going to be making uh, some rolls but for rolls we have to also do some sushi rice so let me introduce you to how the sushi rice looks like so uh, these are the short grain rice these are smaller in size and, and they are round so these are highly gelatinous rice and they need to be cleaned at least three times before started cooking yeah. so there is always some sort of a confusion and misconception that uh, how much water does this rice needs uh, since the highly gelatinous in nature usually tend to often add a lot more water easy to cook this rice they are tender in preparation but they are also quite easy to make we usually using exactly the same quantity of water as the quantity of the rice so if you are using one cup of rice we'll be using one cup of water with it so let's go ahead and clean wash the rice So by constant washing, we're going to be seeing this white residue that's coming up. After the constant wash of almost three to four times, this water or the color of the water will change and will become much more clear. So our sushi rice is clean. As I said you earlier, you have to wash it until the white residue goes off. The water will become clear. So it is done. Now I'll show you how to cook this rice. So as I said earlier, equal quantity of rice and equal quantity of water. So we have a cup of rice and I take the same quantity of water. Now we set it to boil, the bubbles come from the side. We will keep it cover and then we'll cook it another slow for 10 minutes. Water has started boiling. Now we'll go to completely slow and use one of the lid to cover it up and cook it slowly for another 10 minutes. Always remember when you do this step you do not need to take it out, do not need to open it up, no need to rush it. The lowest temperature of your induction or if you are using a gas stove or an electric stove, anything, the lowest temperature need to be set on it and keep it set for 10 minutes with the timer on. Okay. So our 10 minutes of cooking the sushi rice is over. If you remember, I asked where once the water boils. For two minutes and one one minute the water will start boil we keep immediately at the lowest heat for 10 minutes the 10 minutes is over now we take it keep it on to the side for another 10 minutes to rest so let's go and give this rice a 10 minutes of rest so uh the 10 minutes resting time is over so uh, let's go anishka and see okay the rice is perfectly cooked if you can see do you see it yes sir okay. nice so if you take it one and you, when you mix it there'll be a little little a touch here mm -hmm. little and all down there that is means it is perfectly done got it okay not done Okay, the rice is perfectly cooked. If you can see, do you see it? Yes, sir. Nice. So if you take it one, and you, when you mix it, there'll be little, little a touch here, little and al dante. That is means it is perfectly done. Got it. Okay. Rice is cooked. It's perfectly done. Each strands are separate. It's a, it's a right time to pour it in this wooden bowl and then mix it up. 
Okay. Chef, I have a question if I may. Okay. Why do we use a wooden bowl and why not a stainless steel or a glass bowl or ceramic okay. bowl? Okay, very nice. Uh, ideally, a wooden bowl is used because wood has a tendency to absorb heat. Okay. Our sushi rice is prepared. Um, so, Anishka, you want to taste it and see? The flavors yes. are fine. Yeah, yeah. You're getting the taste of sourness and yes. the salt is yes. there. Yes. A slight hint of sweetness. Yes. So this is how the taste of the sushi rice should be. Let's go ahead and roll it and make a rolls out of it. So we just prepared the sushi rice. A quite an easy way, but the little small details that you need to observe while preparing it. Rices are of different varieties. Okay. So if you see the rice that is available in Jap Japan or a quality good quality will rice will handle differently so whenever you're cooking rice it's as a chef whenever it's a trial and error always prepare a small batch of rice previously and then prepare a bigger batch later okay so always you will see uh, rice are of different qualities they are different textures the different gelatinous in nature similarly when you prepare sushi rice always prepare a small batch of rice first make it and then you can prepare a larger batch later so now we have prepared the sushi rice we kept it on the side let's go and prepare the rolls okay so for preparation yes Chef, may i ask you a question yes please so what are popular kinds of rolls in the sushi okay so uh, in sushi there are lot of types of uh, rolls or the sushi is eaten in lot of different ways okay um, the popular rolls are maki rolls which are traditional rolls where the seaweed uh, sheets or the nori sheets they come outside and the filling is inside okay then there is uramaki uramaki is just inverted when the rice is outside and the seaweed is inside apart from that there are nigris and sashimis nigris are traditional rice uh, sushis where a small piece of a uh, fish or a seafood are kept on the top of the rice okay and sashimis are usually a uh, thin slice of seafood served on the bed of crushed ice okay so let's and make some exciting maki rolls for that i have got here the nori sheets nori sheets are technically uh, dried seaweed sheets which okay. are uh, dried and they are pressed and compressed so you will see the sheet is looks like this the sheet looks like this is a thin wafer kind of a sheet we fold it from both the side like this or even we can use a scissor to cut, cut. like this So uh, what I am doing now, I am taking the nori sheet, I am placing it over here, okay. So we take some of the rice that we prepared and now we simply flat it. We can take a help of little water just to let the rice fall to the all the sides. Place some pickled carrots that I pickled the day before. Some cucumber.
salary and a dash a little bit of mayonnaise and now we fold it up so the folding technique goes like we have to take the rice and we have to So we prepare this maki rolls and now Anishka will you try to repeat it again yes, sure. okay fine so Anishka will be going ahead and making the so maki rolls for us if you see the nori sheet you yeah. have a smooth side and then you have the one which is little bit rough on the side so now hold the sheet place it on the mat okay so once you place it on the mat okay so the m most important part is to have your hands always wet so, Anishka, you have to wait your hands. Take rice, a handful of rice. Okay, now keep it at the center and spread it. If you think it gets so difficult for you to spread it, use little more wet hands so that you can spread it evenly. Okay, use the hand, this, yes. Make your hands more wet and spread it. And sprinkle some togarashi powder. Togarashi is usually a chili Japanese powder with herbs and sesame on it. So it's a chili powder from Japan. So we pour little bit of togarashi powder and now you start folding. So for folding you have to hold it this way. Before folding you need to apply little bit of water onto the sheets. Okay. So the sheets need water here. Now hold it. So uh, earlier we made an awesome maki roll with Anishka. Now we'll show you how to make a nigri. Okay. So today we are making a nigri out of a fish. We are using a salmon. It's one of the most easiest uh, sushi roll. Well, whereas we are not going to roll it, but we are going to press and make a small patty out of it with the hand. So I'll show you how to do it. Sure. So the same process, we had to wet our hand so that the rice doesn't stick. 
we take just a small hand of it three finger got it okay the salmon on the top that's your nigri we can garnish it with little bit of seaweed just to add the texture view appeal of the dish okay so that's how a nigri is done okay, okay? yes sir so you want to go ahead and show us someone yes, sir. okay take wet your hands first so you're done now keep it on the and we put a seaweed fazza garnish on the top okay nice you can keep it on the base okay take a salmon keep it on the top okay take a nori sheet and tie it up on the other side okay keep it on the side okay yes. thank you thank you so today we prepared this amazing sushi plate as i said you earlier we prepared some uramaki rolls we have some maki rolls and some nigris here i hope all three of you have got this chance to learn something in the japanese yes, and sir. i hope you will take ahead from here something yes. if i ask uh, omkar which is your favorite one in here i will say the ura maki definitely the ura maki always stands differently <laughs> and the best thank you for all thank, thank you all you. of you thank you